What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to take a look at a game that just recently came out called Dynasty Warriors Unleashed. And this is a game that's meant for your mobile devices such as your phone or tablet. And this is uh, a game that's been around for a very long time. I remember as a kid playing the Dynasty Warrior games on my Nintendo system. Uh, but it's loosely based on a novel called Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's... Uh, really about a uh, feudal time in China whenever uh, the clans were all fighting against each other and all this stuff. Uh, it was even a, another franchise game that came out called Romance of the Three Kingdoms that I played as well as a kid. And through the years they've made more Dynasty Warrior games. Uh, just tons of them are out nowadays. And this is the mobile version of uh, you know one of them. I guess this is unique in itself not like the other ones but yet it has its own twist on the gameplay of dynasty warriors so like all the other games that's based around this time uh or this uh franchise should i say you're basically controlling a general and you're leading your armies and fighting against the opposing clans uh usually the hero in this uh franchise is uh, a character named Liu B, if I remember how to say the name right, uh, and he has two really close uh, allies named Guan Yu and Zhang Fi. And these guys are really the, the heroes that you're trying to uh, uh, take the place of and defeat all the evil people, so to say. You know, the ones that don't see things your way. So... All right, let's go ahead and get into some of this gameplay here. I'm going to play it on my phone so uh, we get the best performance as possible. All right, so we have uh, three different uh, categories here that we can go into, uh, which is campaign, challenges, and battlefield. And it looks like there's also conquests that can be unlocked at a certain time. I'm level 20 and I haven't unlocked it yet, so uh, we can't really go into that just yet because I haven't unlocked it. I don't know when it's uh, going to be unlocked. I've been playing this for a little bit now, and yeah, I guess it's going to be uh, a bit of a higher level in order to get into that. So we're going to go ahead and claim our mail here because I want to show you guys some of the rewards that these guys give you uh, just for free, just for playing the game. And a lot of times you got to pay big money in other games in order to get these kind of rewards. Uh, so the rewards will either be a general or it will be a weapon, armor, uh, you know, some kind of equipment that I can put onto my generals. Uh, or, or else it could even be something like an experienced vial or something in order to get my uh, character stronger. So let's go ahead and open this up so you guys can see the rewards right off the bat. Now the first thing there is a scroll which is going to be an enlistment scroll which will give me a general. And then the chest afterwards is probably going to be some kind of equipment. Alright, so let's go ahead and claim these other ones real fast. I just want to show you guys how much they reward you just for playing the game, which is a very good thing in mobile games because uh, a lot of times they try to give you nothing at all and try to suck you into paying a lot for the game, uh, which really sucks because if, if you're just trying out a game or something, uh, it would be nice to be given incentives in order to keep playing until you want to get to the point of spending money. Um, so let's go ahead and look at uh, just the officers here so that you guys can get uh, kind of an idea of what's going on here. See the officers that I have right now are pretty much all four stars. Uh, you can get one to six stars on your generals and that determines like the rarity or power. And also you can combine your generals. So otherwise if this first guy here, if I wanted to go into his profile and uh, I can promote him, I can train him and I can work on his skills. And as you can see on the right side of the screen, we have his equipment, which I have him with a bow, which it doesn't show him with a bow, but for some reason that's kind of how the, the game just works. It just gives you a random weapon, you equip it to him, but yet he has his real weapon that is uh, on, you know, just always on his character. So he's running around swinging this big club, even though I put a bow on him. I'm, I'm not really sure why that happens that way, but, uh, I guess to save on resources of programming the game or doing the artwork, but 
Uh, there's the three categories of uh, gear on the side. That's the normal ones, which is your weapon, your armor. And then it has like this other one, which is like uh, an accessory, should I say. And then they have a fourth one down here, which is a legendary uh, item. And for this guy, he has like a studded club. And this club is specifically used by him. So whenever you get a piece of legendary gear, like I have this other legendary uh, piece of gear here, it says that it's custom made for another character. So yeah, it, it's, it's kind of like catered around certain characters for their strengths. All right, so then whenever I go to train, I can see that I can actually, I guess, sacrifice these other generals in order to make this one more powerful. So if I click on one, as you can see on the around my character, it put that he will gain 600 experience there. If I click on another one, it's another 600 experience. But if I click on a three star one, 4,000 experience. So you level your guy up like that, or you can also promote him which uh, means that you're basically going to, uh, I, I'm assuming this works in a certain way to where you have another four star general and you actually sacrifice them into your already four star general, but both of them have to be max level, I believe. Um, I'm, I'm not going off of facts on everything because a lot of it just hasn't been unlocked by myself or reached to those levels. So I'm kind of going off of what I'm assuming it is, uh, but it's not facts. All right. So in the skills here, you can work them up as well to increase their percentages. All right. So let's go ahead and back out of this because you can see the main generals that I use here are going to be my four stars and the three stars are most likely going to be eaten up at some point. Uh, you mainly have, uh, three generals that you use at any given time. Uh, uh, say for instance the first one that gets put in is this uh, This red guy in the first slot and then once he gets low in health I'll go ahead and put in my other generals to fight uh, the battle as well, but uh, You don't really need any of these other guys uh, once you get to a certain point unless you want to sub them in uh, because sometimes if you look at these characters, you will see they will have an elemental damage such as, uh, this first guy. If you look down at the three symbols, uh, down at the bottom part, right above his power level, you will see that there is a symbol signifying that he's a fire based person. Now, uh, the fire base is more like an aggressive, uh, type of gameplay. Uh, whereas something like the, uh, water or the, uh, green earth, I guess it is uh is more a defensive uh type of uh gameplay should i say uh their abilities will do shields and stuff whereas like the fire based will do um uh more damage oriented like increase your critical hits uh and if you look at the water one it will have uh actually like more of evasion type of stuff not really the shields more of uh if you hit an ability it may teleport you forward to get around your enemies in order to get out of tight spots all right so yeah that's that's basically how it's played is you uh promote these generals as powerful as you can equip them with the best equipment you can and everything else is based around doing that all right, so let's go ahead and go into my inventory here so that you guys can see some of the gear that I have. As you can see, these weapons range in rarity. Uh, whenever you open chests in that, you'll uh, uh, automatically get a lot of these equipments that you can sacrifice into each other to level them up. And then it's just like the generals where you can sacrifice like a four star equipment in order to uh, up the stars on another piece of equipment. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, some of the items I have over here. So you can see that uh, I have several different things that I've collected over time. Uh, this first item here is an XP potion basically, and it grants a thousand XP to uh, a certain officer. So I can use it on officers in order to promote them faster. And you'll get several things like this, as well as uh, bags that will contain gems in them. And you can put gems on your equipment to make them more powerful. 
Uh, let's see, you have items that will actually give you your battle points back because as you play the game, like most mobile games, you have like a stamina of some sort. If you see at the top of my screen, it says 23 to 20, which that means I'm getting a bonus, but in all reality, the max is 20 and as I use them up, it will start a timer to where I'll start repl replenishing that uh, stamina back up and then I can use it again in order to uh, play the game even more. Well, these uh, these flags here give me more battle points back so I can uh, get some of that stamina back for free. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at a chest here. As you can see, it contains one piece of three to six star equipment. So let's go ahead and open up one of them so you guys can see. Alright, so we got three star spear. And it doesn't really matter that it's a spear except for the stats. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at that so you guys can see. Uh, if you look at this bow, you see that I have uh, substats on it, which is attack, defense, and critical dodge. And then you look at the spear, it'll have critical chance on it. So as you can tell with different equipment, it has different stats to it all together. Um, and you basically have to pick which one has the best stats for your particular character. Like on some of my characters, I'm really focusing on critical chance. So they land a lot of crit hits. But if my guy has a, a natural low crit chance, I'm not going to throw equipment on him, on him to up that crit chance. I'm going to focus on something like attack or defense, depending on the strengths of my particular general at the time. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of the other items here. Uh, here we go. We got a, a scroll that's going to give me an officer and it's going to give me an officer between three and six stars. These are the same things that you see me claiming earlier. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up one of them so you can see what the recruitment scroll looks like. And you're always opening these hoping you get a six star or something. Four star. Very good. I have uh, several four star characters, but I have none that are five star. So four star is the best that I'm getting right now. So if I get another four star, it's not a bad thing. It's not one of the weaker guys. It's somebody that I can actually evaluate and see if his, uh, his abilities and his permanent stats are something that I would rather have in my lineup than the previous characters. All right, so then we also have a market here. Okay, so the market is basically where you spend real life money or else you get some free stuff. Uh, as you can see, this uh, bronze edict and the golden one here are free to me. Uh, but if I want to get the magical one here, I've got to spend some of these uh, real life currencies uh, that you buy with uh, real life money, should I say. But they also give you some of it in game over time. So uh, if you look at the top of my screen, I have 3,335 of it. So I could buy this scroll right here and get 10 officers plus one with a, uh, with a four star officer guaranteed, which isn't bad, but I'm not wanting to spend my uh, currencies on that. So we're gonna go ahead and claim the golden one here and get it for free. So free draw. Let's open it up and let's see what kind of general we get. A four star. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm seeming to get a lot of four stars while I'm doing this video. Uh, usually I get three stars. It's usually the minimum that I get, which is the three star out of the golden one. Let's go ahead and open up a golden chest and this will give me a piece of equipment here. All right, so it can be three to six star once again. So we're hoping for a six star. All right, three star. We got the minimum on that, which isn't bad, though, because whenever you open up the other ones that you get five of them a day, you, you can get one star or something like that. So it's not nearly as good. All right. Now that we've gotten through all that, let's go ahead and look at some of the side stuff here. We have events that go on. If you click on the events, you will see promotional times that you'll be able to claim special items and such. So if we refresh it. We see that I've already reclaimed the first two there, and then you can start getting more after that. And uh, even at the last one there, you will have a three to six star officer chest, which would be very nice. And this is just bonuses to playing the game uh, as you take, play, uh, take part in the events that they're putting on. So yeah, and then you also have quests here, which quests are uh, 
pretty uh, important in that you want to kind of focus your gameplay around unlocking more quest stuff and getting extra rewards the entire time. So, and they got daily and weekly ones here, so those are really nice. Alright, let's get into some of the gameplay here. Let's look at the campaign. Uh, the campaign is basically the storyline of this game. If we uh, go back, you will see that you can uh, actually one to three star these campaigns. And as you're doing these particular fights, you will see that the storyline is being told to you. Uh, the beginning storyline is basically that we're uh, fighting against K.O. K.O., which uh, is a, Brit a big enemy in the games in the past. So let's go ahead and uh, get our support character. You get three generals that you play with, and then you can choose a support character, which will be somebody else's character. Uh, so you're basically borrowing a hero from somebody else. And Lubu seems like a good one because he's like always the, the toughest guy in all the game whenever it comes to this uh, franchise. So we'll go ahead and choose him. And somebody has him at five stars, so that's really nice. All right, so the gameplay is basically with uh, with a joystick, you know, using one thumb for a joystick, and then your other thumb is hitting abilities afterwards. So as we can see, we have Ko Ko uh, talking about uh, what is going on at this particular time. We're going to go, uh, go ahead and kind of rush through this. We're not really trying to read the storyline in this particular video. So, uh, as you can see, they're setting up the stage for this fight. All right, now this is where it gets really cool in that you can, you're fighting whole armies of people. Now, I have it on autoplay right now, but I can switch that off and I can focus on hitting everything myself and moving my character around and fighting so uh let's see here let's try to find a chest or something okay nothing nearby yes there we go a barrel and that will give us some um, in most games it's called like rage but it gives you like a currency that you can use a special ability here and it's basically like a cannonball for this guy like he tumbles over everybody then i can hit my normal abilities here and really sweep out some people it's very nice and then aside from these normal abilities we have a special ability here which is at the bottom there if i hit it it will give me uh some kind of defense i believe on this character but on other characters it may like if it's a water-based character it will go uh, or this might be a damage increase actually but like on a water-based character, it will uh, do like a step to where it'll teleport forward and get me out of trouble. Uh, for a life base or green character, it will be um, uh, a shield of some sort. So that's really nice. Okay, so we're fighting a general right now and he's got me about half-life. So I'm going to call in my other character here and I'm going to play as her now. And you basically are trying to pick the direction in which you're swinging your hits. Oh, she is really low. Let's bring in somebody else. Oh man, that general almost died. That was almost bad news bears for me, man. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, a character that has the sidestep ability. All right, so we just took out the general. Very, very good. Uh, th that's how all these stages generally work is there's a main boss at the end, which is an enemy general and you take them on and try to beat them. All right. So I got the three star, my character, one of my characters almost died. And if that character actually does die, you won't get three stars. You'll get two stars. And if you don't do it in a certain amount of time, you might even get one star if you do that. So. Uh, the whole key to these stages is doing them fast and none of your generals dying along the way. All right, so there you go with the campaign mode. Uh, that's where you're uh, getting a lot of your uh, normal gameplay in because this is where you use a certain amount of your uh, stamina at. Uh, and also there is hard modes and elite modes there. And I don't have those unlocked though, so I'm not that tough of a person. 
All right, so now we're going to go into the challenges. And the challenges are, uh, as you can see, I don't have one of the challenges unlocked yet. But we're going to review the daily trial and the boss fight. Okay, so the daily trial uh, is basically, and you unlock these as you level up too. Uh, but there are a lot of different situations that you just play through that particular stage and it has an objective that you're trying to do and you can do uh, two of each of these. So let's go ahead and look at the siege one. Uh, yeah, those three characters look good. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that team. So let's go ahead and go into the fight here. And each of these... Uh, each of these uh, daily challenges are really, really fun because it really changes up the game and gives you something different than what you're normally doing. Um, yeah, you're still fighting people or fighting stuff in some way. Like for this one here, this is, you got to stop all these guys from hitting this battling ram because you're trying to get this battling ram to ram the gate. And if these guys are hitting the battling ram, it'll cause it to stall out. So we want it to get up to full and then we hit the ram button and allow the battling ram to hit the door. Uh, very, very cool. Whenever I first played this, I thought this is genius. This takes away from the uh, like getting stale with the game because you're, you're completely playing almost a whole different game here with these challenges. Uh, let's get the ram going there. All right, so it's backing up and getting ready again um we got to fight off all these guys and there will be like many bosses that come out as you can see it's pointing down the arrow down here so i know that this guy this captain here is a troublemaker and we want him out of our way uh but then like late into the match there will be an actual real general that comes out that doesn't have like the name captain uh it'll be an actual general so that'll be like a really tough guy to try to get out of the way. All right, let's get all these people off of this battling ram so he can do some more hits. Okay, there goes Captain. And, and that makes it even worse whenever uh, some of these guys are firing bows because you're then you're trying to chase them like uh, even away from the ram to where, oh, there goes one of the bosses right there that... Uh, Let's go ahead and hit a special ability. Let's point it the right way. All right, good, good, good. Now, I thought this was such a cool take on it because usually I'm playing games like this that you're hitting monsters and it's just like two or three monsters on the screen. All right, finished up this one. The gate has been breached, but you're fighting entire uh, like whole armies on this one, which is really, really cool to me. I'm used to fighting like three or four monsters on the screen at a time. This one, you're hitting abilities and people are just flying everywhere once they get hit. It's so fun. All right, as you can see, I got some uh, pretty good rewards there. And then you can play these other ones that are really fun, like this wooden ox one. You're basically fighting the these uh, wooden oxes that are crossing your screen. You're running around trying to hit them and basically one hit uh, destroys them, but then they start going really fast and they're going across your screen. You're like running all over the place trying to hit them. It's super, super fun. I mean, all this stuff is incredibly interesting whenever you want to change to the normal gameplay and doing something different. And that keeps the game from getting boring. Uh, uh, a huge amount. I mean, I, I can't, I can't tell you how much fun it is to go from the normal gameplay to this kind of stuff and really have a, a whole different game to play. Basically, uh, the red cliff. You're knocking people off the cliffs and you're trying to. Uh, uh, it's almost like a king of the hill type of thing where you're knocking people down and trying to uh, take their spot. All right, so the boss fight here, there might not be a boss going right now. Yeah, there isn't a boss, but basically what happens is uh, every here and there, a boss will attack a, a, an area or something, and you will come to assist in defeating those bosses. And it'll be three different bosses that are all attacking this one place. And there will be other uh, players' characters in that as well. Now, if it's actual players that's playing it, I don't think so. But I think that's their characters that's are helping you as well. So uh, as you're doing the regular gameplay, it'll pop up on your screen. Hey, a boss is attacking an area. Would you like to go assist? You select yes. That'll put you into the boss fight there. All right. So the battlefield here, this is where it gets really interesting as well. Because 
the raids here, you basically take, uh, you basically uh, conduct these raids in order to get uh, fragments of an experience vial. Uh, that's all I've been able to get so far as experience vials. Uh, but you go through the different ones, like the lower experience vial, you only have to get three uh, items. And as you go up, it's more items. So if we click on a fragment here, we will be able to raid any of these other characters. And once we do, we can hit the raid button and do it one at a time, or else we can do it five at a time until we get the item that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, choose the level 21 guy because this is probably going to be a little bit easier for me to win these raids. So, all right. So I, I won three of the five, but I didn't get the item that I needed until the very last one. So once once I got the item, the raids will stop. So if you get the item at the third raid that you do, th the third successful one, or even the first successful one, the raids will stop right there. And then it'll fill in that particular spot. So let's go ahead and do these other ones real fast uh so that you guys can see exactly what's going on with this all right there you go i hit the times five and the very first raid got the item so let's go ahead and go to the next one here uh we'll raid the level 18 guy oh got it the last one see as you can see i win against the 18 guy but he doesn't i mean it's a lower chance of getting the item that i need from winning the raid so you kind of want to select that middle ground usually if i'm a level 20 i usually want to fight a level 20 to 22 or something like that that way i don't lose the raids too much but i have a higher chance of getting the item so let's go ahead and raid this level 20 guy here all right, there we go. Got it on the second successful one. Okay, as you can see, I have all the fragments here ready to go. So I'm going to click on combine. And now I have a random chance of successfully putting together this, uh, this experience potion. So if it fails, I'll lose a few of the fragments and I'll have to go back and raid those areas again in order to get that fragment. But if it succeeds, I will successfully get this cauldron, which will give me a, a 1,600 experience for my general. So let's go ahead and hit combine. And I failed. No. Okay, as you can see, it destroyed three of the fragments. Uh, so I'd have to raid those areas again. But it is also, uh, you know, ten, uh, uh, how to say it. Uh, restricted by how much uh, energy that I have at the top. If you look at the top up there by, beside the flag, you'll see a 9 of 20. That means I only have 9 more uh, stamina or whatever you want to call it, energy, in order to do these raids. So I can run 9 more of them, which probably won't get the 3 uh, pieces that I need right here. So we, we won't try that anymore right now. Um, let's go ahead and get out of that. And uh, war supply. Okay, this is where you are actually taking over like a mine or something. And you determine three guys that's going to go there and claim that particular mine. And you'll get the silver from it. And the silver is used to do a lot of things such as upgrading your gear, uh, powering up your generals. I mean, all kinds of stuff. It uses silver. And it's real easy to run out of silver if you're playing pretty hardcore and uh, using up your resources as fast as you can get them. Luckily, they gift you a lot of uh, silver in this game, so you don't have to uh, run out too bad if you're a little bit of a casual. But I imagine if you're a hardcore player, you're definitely going to need this silver mine and uh, get some more silver on your character in order to progress. All right, so now we're getting into the PvP stuff. So if we go to arena here, we will have the opportunity to fight against other players and they all have a rating over there. And as you can see, there's mostly five star generals over there. Uh, well, no, the top one is four star generals, but then we have the second one is five star and then we have uh, five star, four star and three star at the bottom. So let's go ahead and fight this bottom person. Uh, seems like a good idea. What's this battle log here? All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and fight this person, give you guys an idea of how this is going to go. So this is basically a one-on-one, -on -one, but I can switch out my generals. It's basically like a tag team uh, with one player, you know, at a time. 
So I'm going to fight this character and then as I get low in health I'll switch out to one of my other characters and uh, hopefully not die. <laughs> so he's going to use up abilities probably. Oh that wasn't kosher. Alright so now we're going to start hitting. He's used up a little bit of his abilities. We got to make sure we point our skills in the right direction. Oh he switched out characters. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch out characters since all of my abilities are on cooldown. So let's go ahead and switch her in. We dodged his ability. Very, very good. Oh, that's what makes these sweeping attacks so good because... Uh, let's go ahead and switch out so we got somebody that's not knocked down. All right. Oh, he stunned me. No. Okay, let's bring in one. Of, okay, his cooldowns are back up, which is perfect. Oh, this sweeping attack is so good, man. Uh-oh. He switched in. Guy, we got to get out of there. All right, so our cooldowns are down. We want to switch to another character. The girl with the fan here seems to beat up people pretty good. All right, shield up. Shield up. Let's go ahead and bring in somebody with cooldowns back up. Oh, we are winning this fight so far. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, the sweeping hits are really nice because that makes it to where, uh, like, your accuracy isn't as important because it's so easy to miss these particular characters. Uh, because all, all this combat is directional fighting. You got to make sure that you're swinging in the right direction. All right, we pulled off the win there. Very, very nice. Pretty happy about that one. Uh, I kind of decimated that person where I've had other matches where I completely got beat up. So it's nice to win. All right, so let's get out of that one. And we are going to go to the final PvP here that I'm aware of anyway, since playing this game. And that is the skirmish. And, uh, oh, the, this is only open during a particular time, I believe. Uh, so yeah, uh, I can't really show you the skirmish right now, but basically what the skirmish is, is it is, uh, you and several other players all in an area, all fighting against each other. And whoever kills all the other people first wins. Uh, but you get to use all three of your characters. So, you know, if one of your characters dies, the second one comes in and then the third one and whoever is left, uh, you know, standing once all three characters are dead from everybody else is the winner of it. And I imagine the rewards on this are pretty good because it's, uh, it's not only kind of a bigger format of fighting uh, more players, but it's also uh, a limited time things. It only pops up at certain times. And usually games give you a lot of rewards with that type of format. If you actually show up to the events and take part in them, you'll get rewarded handsomely for it. All right, so that's mainly the game of Dynasty Warriors Unleashed right there. Uh, there, there seems to be updates happening all the time to the game. Um, so far, I've had a lot of fun with the game. However, in the early stages, it has been pretty buggy. Um, there has been a lot of lockups on the game to where I got to shut down the game and reboot it. Um, that is most likely due to the game just coming out though. They're probably going to patch all that stuff up and not have, uh, much more issues of that caliber in the future. But right now it, it's causing a lot of issues because I'll get going on a particular campaign or something. And then all of a sudden it won't even enter the battlefield or my characters won't use their skills or whatever else is going on. And that's pretty frustrating, but that happens often with new games once they come out and really get released to the public public to where a lot of people are going to put a lot of stress on the servers and test out that code to see where the bugs are so overall very good game uh it's definitely like a a, a game that you have to be a big time action player in order to enjoy it 
because it's a lot of beat em up in here. It's it's a lot of uh, different versions of beat em up. Like I said, you can uh, take part in the challenges and have a lot of fun with that. Uh, there's so many things to do. Uh, if you did everything in this particular game, uh, it will consume quite a bit of time in a day. So uh, that's, a, that's a very good thing, by the way. That's a very good thing in that uh, you aren't going to run out of things to do very easily, uh, which happens a lot in mobile games. Whenever you use up your energy in most games, it's, it's game over for a while until you give it some time to rebuild your energy back. There are so many different things to do on Dynasty Warriors that I think you'll enjoy it if you're an action type of player. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of first look of Dynasty Warriors Unleashed. Uh, if you liked it, punch that thumbs up button. Uh, if you really loved it, may, uh, leave a comment below and tell me to make more videos on it. Uh, we can definitely do that. So as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you guys next time.